Not me taking thumbnails for 20 minutes. Wow, embarrassing for me. You wanna be book friends? Yes or no? Comment down below. Hi besties, it's me, Larissa. If you didn't know, I'm Larissa. If you did know, hello. It is Friday night currently. It is midnight. I started reorganizing my bookshelves at 9 p.m. today, and it's been three hours and I just finished. I did watch Twilight in between, so I think that's what really uh, took a little toll on my timetable here. But do I regret it? Absolutely not. Where the hell have you been loca? Hang on tight spider monkey. Somebody the other day was like, oh, would you recommend I read Twilight? And I was like, well, is Twilight good? No. Do I love it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's one of those things that if you read it at the time, you love it. But if you read it now for the first time, I think you wouldn't like it. So that makes sense. Anyway, this has nothing to do with anything. I again. cannot believe I caught that. Oh my god. My spider senses are tingling. So since I just finished reorganizing all of my bookshelves, I am going to give you a grand tour. I'll tell you a little bit about some of the books. I will tell you if I recommend some of them. I'm just going to walk you through my shelf detailing it. You know what I mean? Before I officially do this, let me explain something. I built these shelves in the living room. So I started organizing it in the living room, not thinking about the fact that I'm going to have to take it to my room after because I am a fool. I was just in a silly goofy mood. But then when I realized it was just simply too late, and so I just organized every single book in the living room and I'm gonna have to move everything into my room. So I'm gonna show you while it's in the living room, while it looks all pretty and nice, and then I'm gonna move it to my room and I guess I'll just do a little aesthetic montage when it's in my room. Does that make sense? Yes? Okay. Are you on board? You better be on board. Um, you have no option. I feel like I worked really hard at this. I feel like there was many easier ways I could have done this, but my philosophy is work harder because it builds character, you know? I think that's possibly one of the dumbest things I've ever heard myself say. Yes, you are in my living room, as I said before. I have two big ones, that one and that one, and then I have two little cubes that go in between my bed. Well, next to my bed, on either side of my bed. Yes, okay. So this is my first shelf. I say that this is the fantasy shelf. So you have the Shadow and Bone trilogy and then Six of Crows duology right there. I've got Daughter of the Pyre King and Daughter of the Siren Queen. I uh, highly recommend these if you are just beginning to read fantasy. Yes. Then you've got some hardbacks that are just really pretty that I kind of just wanted to show off. The Inheritance Games, amazing. Can't wait for the second one to come out in September. Outlander, big yes. And then we've got some pretty like alone ones over here due to the fact that I haven't acquired the like, rest of the series. This one is a standalone, The Night Circus. Look how beautiful it is, hold up. Please look at that. This book is gorgeous. Look at that. Are you joking? The circus arrives without warning. Oh, yes, love. So this is the top shelf. This is a standalone. But these are all series. I just haven't gotten the rest of the series yet. So this one is a trilogy. Haven't gotten the rest. This one's a duology. Haven't gotten the rest. And you probably know the Shadow Me series. Haven't gotten the rest. So I just put it up there so that they didn't feel lonely. Then you move down here. And I love this part of the shelf, actually. I put this little plant here for, um, I don't know, to look lively. Then I have two hardcovers over here. We have from Blood and Ash, The Beauty. She better be beautiful because she's worth more than my kidney. Like, please look at it. Oh my god. Hold up. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, plant. Look at From Blood and Ash, y'all. It is so beautiful. It is worth more than my entire life savings. It's like $30 for that book. But it's worth it because it's so pretty, am I right? This book is also very good if you're just starting to get into fantasy, The Shadows Between Us. It's a fantasy romance. So just like The Daughter of the Pirate King and Daughter of the Sign Queen. And it's also by the same author, coincidentally. So if you liked this one, you'll probably like the other two. And if you like the other two, you'll probably like this one. Let me just say that um, this plant is hanging on for dear life. Like she's like stuck in there, but I have no space. That's where she has has to go. Then we've got the, the Shades of Magic box set. I put it like that so we can really show it off. Then we've got two more from V. Schwab, same author as this, Vicious and Vengeful. These are a duology. And then you've got Caraval Trilogy. It is so beautiful, please. And then you have a Good Vibes candle because that's important. Look at Caraval, y'all. Oh my god, remember, it's only a game. You are so beautiful. I just love beautiful books, you know. I don't mean to sound como se dice shallow an amazing book with beautiful covers is so much better than an amazing book with ugly covers you know but i'd rather an amazing book with ugly cover than a horrible book with a pretty cover anyway here's the bottom of said shelf so you've got percy jackson 
uh, the whole Percy Jackson series right here, and then you've got the Heroes of Olympus series right here. And then I started the Magnus Chase, I just haven't gotten the rest yet. And then here, some miscellaneous fantasy that I also haven't gotten the rest to. Akatar, Red Queen, Legend, and Cruel Prince, and the Raven Boys are all series, but I haven't gotten the rest to them. The Atlas Six, the second one, has not come out, but as soon as it does, I will be purchasing it immediately. This is the most amazing book. Please go read it. It's not an easy read, but it is so worth it. So this is the full shelf from far away. And there you go. Let's move along to this one. This one is the second one of the big ones. They're gonna go together. This is what it looks like. This is my favorite part of my bookshelf. I absolutely love this one. Let me show you. So the top, you've got the iconic. I turned myself into a pickle, Morty. A pickle rick. Amazing. Then you've got some standalones here. Um, I don't like We Were Liars. I'm actually gonna do a giveaway and give this book to someone. I just haven't done that yet. One of my favorite books of all time, so I needed to really show it off. So it's taking up extra space because it deserves it. Please read Archer's Voice. Then I've got some more standalones here. I don't absolutely love this book, but it was actually really cute, but it's not my favorite. I enjoyed it though. <gasps> my favorite part, we have the entire Off Campus and Briar U series. Everyone that's saying, please post like you reading the rest, please read the rest and post it. I've already read it. I started posting the videos as I was reading the books, but I already finished the entire series. Don't worry, I filmed everything. I'm just posting it slowly because I have to edit it and all that jazz, but I already finished the entire thing and I love it. I finished it in a week and a half. <laughs> no self-control. So that's the first one. Here's the second. We've got Mariana Zapata, one of my favorite authors of all time. I only have one of her books because I read the rest of them on my Kindle. I am going to get the paperback though. I need all of her books in paperback. Then we've got Penelope Douglas, another one of my favorite authors of all time. Punk 57 and Birthday Girl, please read it. Then we have over here, I put all of Taylor Jenkins' read right there. And then I put some sad books right there. And then I put uh, Lovely War. Then we have a Dunder Mifflin mug to top it all off and another little plant for some aesthetic purposes and to brighten up the room. I love these two. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful they look. Okay, then at the bottom, you have some of my hard covers right there. This book, One of Us is Lying, is becoming a TV show and I'm really excited for it. I loved this book. We have all these other ones, Coming Down With You, Better Than The Movies, two rom-com books. The Kiss Thief was actually really good. I liked it a lot. Then I have the Field Party collection that the author sent to me. Look, <gasps> I love that. I love that so much. Um, rats, hold up. LJ Shen, hello. Okay, there. Then we have After. I don't have the other ones. <laughs> Oops, and then I have all these other ones right here. Orbiting Jupiter is amazing. It's really short, hold on. It's really short, but like life-changing. It's literally like less than 200 pages. I honestly don't love Then She Was Gone. I liked it, but it was kind of disappointing. It just kind of, everything that you think is gonna happen in that book is exactly what happened. So there was no suspense for me. It was just kind of a story. Here is that bookshelf. Do we love it or do we love it? <laughs> I love it. And you know what? I spent so long doing it, so you better love it as well. So now let me move along to the two cubes that go uh, on the side of my bed. This is cube number one. I put Ace of Spades and the Maidens on top of it because I think that they look very pretty with that plant. That's literally the only reason. Then under here, I have classics and horror books that just feel like they belong there. And I also have some in the back that I didn't have space for that I just put in the back for now until I get more bookshelves. And here, my favorite cube, I call this the Colleen Cube. It is all of my Colleen Hoover books. And up here, I put another two that look aesthetically pleasing with the plant, which is the soulmate equation and the invisible life of Addie LaRue. I put them here because yellows go together and then with the plant behind them. I love this book. This is one of the books that got me back into reading, so I will be thankful for it forever. Let's talk about Colleen Hoover. Please read this. 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 Actually, just read this entire thing. I um, have read every single Colleen Hoover book that's right there. And I can give you guys a Colleen Hoover video if you guys want, telling you what each of those books are about and how many stars I gave it, if I'd recommend, whatever. Let me know if you'd like that and I could do it. I think I only don't have the Slammed series, but I have everything else. And then I don't have the rest of the Maybe Someday series, but I have read it. So yeah, ta-da. Oh, I also have my floating shelves in my room. Hold on. Let me go put all of these bookshelves in my room. 
organize them there. And then I'll show you the floating ones and I'll show you how it all looks together. Sounds like a plan? Sounds like a plan. So here be my floating shelves. You have these beautiful ones right here. Please go read Red, White, and Moral Blue immediately. You have these right here. I went for more of orange vibes with this. Oh my gosh, my favorite book of all time. My second favorite book of all time. Yes, yes, go read it. Then we have some neutral and blues on this side. Pinks over here. I'm so excited to read these two. Then we have some yellow bluish ones over here. Oh my gosh, love of my life. So that's what you've got right there. My plan for this is to get floating shelves that go all around. So I have the first five right here. Then I plan on putting two up here, another five up there, and then two right here. So it all goes around in a big book circle. Does that make sense? And then you have my bottom shelves right there. And then up there you have the Avengers, but that has nothing to do with anything. Remember when I said... And I guess I'll just do a little aesthetic montage when it's in my room. Did you think I forgot? Because I didn't. Cue the aesthetic montage. Was that aesthetic or was that obnoxious? I'm not sure. My aesthetic in general is chaos. As you can see that I'm wearing pajama pants and red lipstick. I always think I'm the main character, <laughs> but I'm just a side character that dies in the beginning of the movie. The end. I'm so tired. I've been doing this for three hours. You know that song, the a single mom who works two jobs, who loves her kids and never stops. I'm a survivor. By Reba, that's me today organizing these bookshelves. It is a full-time job. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go read now. I will talk to you guys later. I'll keep you updated on my bookshelf because as you see, it's ongoing. I'm still gonna do that thing around the TV and I'm still gonna like build bigger ones and more shelves all around the room. It's gonna be just a big library is my plan. I want to live inside books. I don't even want to see my bed. It's just books. Oh, you're really up close and personal to my face right now. We're getting to know each other real well. You wanna be book friends? Yes or no? comment down below. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you like my bookshelves. Um, if you like them, let me know. If you don't like them, please don't let me know because I'm sensitive and I spent so much time doing them. So it's so rude if you say you don't like them. I'm kidding. Be honest, but don't also, you know, be honest, but only if the honesty is nice. If the honesty is mean, don't be honest. <laughs> anyway, have a great day, besties. Uh, show me your bookshelves. Let me know how you organize your books. Let me know your favorite book that's on my shelf. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Love you.